Welcome to the Three Hole Cog Games Podcast. We're your hosts, Kay, Kareem, and Hanif. On today's episode, we're going to discuss G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. I know Kareem and Kay saw it. Uh, what was your initial reaction from watching Snake Eyes, Kareem? I think the last 30 minutes were enjoyable in terms of some action finally occurred. But in terms of the movie overall, I, I would say it's probably the best G.I. Joe movie out. But that's not saying much. That's not saying much <laughs> no, at all. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, but I, I think it's, it's it's still a little weird take on the character's origin. I, I think to, to have Snake Eyes origin be so tied closely to him being a thief basically Mm -hmm. um, did him did the character a little disservice Uh, where I think if you're going to have a movie about the origin of ninjas you should at least have some kind of ninja action throughout and so I I think they tried to build a, a, a story that that fit in the world they wanted to create but I think in some ways it, it missed the mark in terms of a G.I. Joe story. Um, and I think they could have done the character a little bit better in terms of why he was the way he was. Like it made sense in terms of the motivations for that particular character. It just seemed like it didn't really fit for the motivations of Snake Eyes and the behavior. But then once they start tying the story together towards the end, in terms of his relationship with Storm Shadow, how that became more complicated. It did start to become a little bit more familiar, but it's still kind of like, eh, could they have done it differently? Probably yes. yes. And should they have done it differently? Probably yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> Probably yes. <laughs> yeah, they, they really should, because it, it makes you realize how much potential was there. And I think if they just turned it into... Um, more of a, a ninja oriented storyline where he was trying to you know seek honor um as the character spoke about during the movie in, in a different way i think they could have made it work um there were a lot of trials that he had to go through but it felt more at times like it's something that you would see in like you know king arthur or in, and i'm referencing the green knight which was it had a lot of trials in that movie um i, I just think it lacked a lot of ninja action until the last sequences, but I also think they could have done his origin much better. Okay, honest opinion, it wasn't horrible, but it lags. Like it's it. Oof. Even the fight scenes, which you know should make should punch up a movie, it doesn't save the movie. It ends up being a good movie. A, a decent G.I. Joe movie in terms of we did origins. Um, the origin of Snake Eyes is a little, I mean, I, I don't think that would have been the way I went with it, but whatever. But this works out as a better origin for Storm Shadow. Like, this is the perfect Storm Shadow origin story. Like, perfect. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, so I mean, Storm Shadow sometimes was a better character than snake eyes at, at times not all the time but at times he was i think that's because he was able to vocalize you know things yeah. like snake eyes just more or less you no know, hand signals or you know, a shrug um, but in, in the world of live action uh from cartoon to live action movies how does snake eyes compare to the other gi joe films okay because i've actually seen all the gi joe films uh, <laughs> which is a sh- which I feel I've seen them too. So yeah, yeah, they weren't great. That's why I want to see how bad this one is. Okay, so no, okay, this isn't the worst. This is not the worst. This is absolutely not the worst of the GI Joe movies that I, that I've ever seen. Um, I almost want to put it higher than the one with Marlon Wayans, but I liked the one with Marlon Wayans because that, that one was hilarious. Like, there's no true moment of hilarity in this movie not really (laughs) you're just yeah um if i had to rank it it's and we're just talking live action um yeah uh uh 
Better Than Ever Vigilant, the one that came out in 2020. Better than that one. Um, wait, wait, what? There was a G.I. Joe movie that came out last year? Yeah, Ever Vigilant. That was live action? Mm-hmm. It was with, um, where is it? The Rock. Um, what's that black? What's that? Well, you, I know you've seen it. Um, I have. I did not know there was a, a GI Joe okay. movie that came out because last year. You know what? If you know what it felt like. Hold on. Wait. Did it come out? No. Ah. Wait. Hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. Did Did Ever Vigilant come out? Hold on. Because Ever Vigilant, I think the reason why I don't think. It, oh, it might not have. So maybe it didn't come out. Maybe I just saw the trailers for it, and it felt so much like Red Two. That's what it is. Okay, so Ever Vigilant didn't come out, I think. I think, but I saw the trailers, like the initial promo for it, and it felt so much like the movie Red 2 that I was like, like, oh, it feels something I've already seen. So let's drop Ever Vigilant. So Retaliation. Okay, Rise of Cobra is going to be the first one. Snake Eyes is going to be second. Retaliation will be third. Which again is not saying anything because none of them are great movies. <laughs> like I would rather if if you I would rather watch um, what's that movie that came out before uh, the bad version of um, what's the other one that we got this year Mortal Kombat. I'd rather watch the bad Mortal Kombat over um, the GI Joes. And when I say the bad one, I mean, the second one was bad too, but I mean like the first one, the M. Bison, yeah, the Raul Julia M. Bison one. I'd rather watch that. Oh, Street Fighter? Yeah, Street Fighter. Thank you. Why did I say Mortal Kombat? Because Mortal Kombat had- um, Mortal Kombat had several bad movies as well. That's what I'm trying to figure like, do you want- Mortal Kombat 2 was horrible. Mortal Kombat 1, while it was bad, it was- We didn't know what to expect. And so I I I I graded on the curve where it wasn't. It's not a ten. It's not a no. I mean, uh, Oscar worthy I... performance or anything. But I would say it's a six. And the second one was like a four. There's one that just came out that was um was it straight to Netflix or I forgot I forgot how how however it came out. Uh, that one that came out last year. Um, that was. I would say a seven only because the plot was a little bit better. Um, there was still slow, slow, slowly going along. Didn't have as many characters I would have liked to see in it. I would probably give it as a seven, maybe seven and a half. Okay. Uh, at most, at the very most. I mean, I'm like, I'm being super lenient. I mean, okay. it's anywhere between a five and a half and a seven, seven okay. and a half. So this movie, Snake Eyes, is better than the Mortal Kombat that came out in, during COVID, but still not good. It's a good COVID movie if you have the time and you don't really mind it. So let's go from superheroes to your wallet is going to be empty. Not my wallet. <laughs> They're not my wallet. I mean, clearly yeah. not mine. I'm too poor to do this. But mm-hmm. if you are like the rest of the world and were on the internet recently, you were you found out that Disney woohoo has created a hotel for your for Star Wars fans. And by hotel, I mean um, resort. Is uh, I think they they're labeling it labeling it as a resort. Whatever, it's labeled <laughs> Whatever. as complete, <laughs> complete <laughs> and other ridiculousness, and it needs to be shut down. I hope nobody goes and stays there. I mean, uh, that's not what I meant. Sorry. Oh no, no, you, you said what you meant. You said what you meant. <laughs> okay, just aside from the ridiculous price of this, it's yeah. not, you would think that they would build something like this closer to Disney. So like you could actually go to participate in like it'd be easy to transition to go to like the Star Wars exhibit, the little Star Wars land inside of Disney. But no, you're not even close to it. Like you're not even like on the property. You are further out. I know people are gonna do this. You know people are gonna do this. Like, oh my God, I just don't understand. Who has this amount of money? Just, just tell me who has this amount of money. Just who? Yeah, and for for those who don't know, uh, I believe a, for a two nights stay at the Star Wars Resort, I think it's uh, uh, as, as low as twelve hundred dollars. 
per uh, person. Per person. Now, and that's not twelve hundred dollars a night, but it's, it's two nights, so you know you're paying just over six hundred bucks a person. Uh, that does not include certain amenities, but uh, I don't know. I haven't been on a vacation, and I thought that was per person. Twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, twelve hundred dollars yeah. per person, uh, but it's yeah. not per night. So for for so for two people going, you're spending twenty four hundred dollars. But just two nights, two, day, two, two days, nights. two nights. It's not like it's a, a full week uh, thing. No, it's two nights, two days, two nights at the resort for twelve hundred dollars. It doesn't make any sense. Ridiculous. I Wait. can see. If, I think you can get a better deal at Sandals. I can get a better deal anywhere. I can drink my weight in alcohol at the Ryu for less than this. Like literally for the price of two people. Just for the price of one person, I can stay at the Ryu in gym in um Ocho Rios, right? Is that where I went? Whatever. Where I went for my brother's wedding one year. <laughs> so whatever. Year. Like, I for- yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I love my brother. Sorry, I don't remember wh- where I stayed at in your hotel. But like we went there and like I had alcohol in my room on tap. Like, come on, I could drink my weight in alcohol if I wanted to. I mean, clearly I didn't because I don't really drink alcohol that much, but still, like for less money. I'm out the freaking country. I'm in like that's Florida. I'm sorry. I am I'm so under un- understand not understanding this. I don't get it. I don't. Like I like Star Wars. I do. I I really do enjoy Star Wars. And part of me was really looking forward to this whole resort idea coming into fruition. But for the money, who who are you people that this was marketed for? Who made who was this made for? Someone from the evil empire. Yeah, I'm guessing that there's no, there's no one on my side that's going to be able to afford this or want to afford mm-hmm. that. Uh, Somebody spending... from Luke Skywalker in the background can't afford to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> Someone from Finn's background can't afford this. I'm sorry. The way my yes. the way my savings and checking is set up, I, I can't afford a twelve hundred dollar uh, for t- for uh, two nights uh, vacation. Not, not yeah. especially in, in in Florida or even in uh, uh, California. What either Disney a uh, property? You, you got to hit me up with some Star Wars presents, you no know, Hawaii or, <laughs> or or some other tropical location to even make it sound appealing. I'm not going to Florida of all places for vacation and spend the twelve hundred dollars for for two days. Right, and that's just for the the cabin room. That's not even for like the higher end room. That's literally. Two guests per cabin is twelve oh nine per like no per. I gotta get personalized autograph stuff. Like if I'm getting if I'm spending that much, you gotta give me either one of the mid to low tier uh, autographs of uh, of one of the people who are in the movie. Like I'm getting, I don't know the the the, the, the youngling that was that got murked by um Anakin. I get I'm getting his autograph or right uh, the, the voice of uh a Watu or something like this. Uh, somebody <laughs> I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not spending two hundred dollars. I'm just coming home with just the the uh, the, uh, the the flatware that was inside the suite. Like that's not going to be enough. Yeah, I'm not even going to say what I would expect to get for <laughs> that amount of money. <laughs> so, I better. Like, I'll tell you what I expect. Yeah. I expect time in Jabba's palace. Okay, I I, I expect yeah. time with what a Jabba's women. In the, in the palace, like for that much money, you're giving me a happy ending, and I need a happy ending for every hour I'm there with whichever person I want. I'm sorry, I'm just freaking no, like no. And again, that doesn't even guarantee you the 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 higher end room, the um what what is it, the grand captain suite that sleeps eight and stuff. Like that doesn't even guarantee you that room. That is probably guaranteeing you at minimum the standard cabin that really looks like. Okay, it doesn't even look that like. Oh my gosh, I'm well, sorry. So I'm wondering if it if it's uh, not to cut you off, but I was gonna think. Now, if you said twelve hundred dollars for the room, so okay, so you got two people, you're, you're, you're pitching. Or, but if it's twelve hundred dollars per person, that's where that's where you, you lose me. Because even if you do the eight person thing, like the the uh, the large, I don't know if they call it, call it a presidential uh, suite or whatever they want to call it, um, uh, Admiral Thrawn room or whatever they want to say. Okay, you can get eight people. That all you know, everyone puts put the money in a hat and kind of we could kind of all go in and, and uh, rent the rent the, the suite or the uh, luxurious uh, place for the weekend or uh, literally for the weekend. It's only two days, but imagine having a, you could probably get better amenities if you get one of those um, high roller suites in, in Vegas. You know what the um, on site butler and chef, you no, know, uh, you know, all kind of tropical fish in the wall kind of thing. 
uh, one of those Trump S toilets, like sitting on a gold toilet or whatever, overlooking the uh, the Vegas Strip. Here, I'm looking over International Drive in Orlando. Right. <laughs> like, and that's exactly <laughs> it. Like, no. Like, cause it, oh my gosh, no. Wait, come on. And again, it doesn't include. I don't think that includes your package to your experience at the park. Like, I feel. I think you still pay separately for the park, or at least some of the stuff in the park like but i'm sorry if i'm paying that much money no i need to like that better include anything that i want in the park that better include a fast pass in the park but yeah, it's it, not like, yeah, I say, at least the rides and a fast pass i can see if it's okay we don't the, the food in the park you have to pay for yourself hmm, okay but no i have to still pay for the actual rides like but, no uh, uh, so what I what I what I see here is is twelve hundred per guest per night. Yes. So if the, for two guests in the cabin, so it would be a total of forty eight hundred if there's only two people in the cabin. If there's three people in the cabin, it's eight hundred and eighty nine dollars per guest per night for a total of about fifty three hundred. It's four guests, it's seven fifty a night, and it's about six thousand total. For four people, yeah, but two people like is almost five thousand, right? The cabin it, it ain't getting sounds bigger. like it, but it but it <laughs> seems like there is like an itinerary for the two days, um, so like one p.m. until you know, I guess eight forty-five. I don't want to have. I don't know itinerary. if this is a sample, but yeah, I'm on a vacation. I want to you know. It's it's like one of those. Uh, it sounds like the timeshare thing. Like you, you have to go and see their their sales pitch. Like even I just wanted to relax on the beach, but you have to in order to go be here for free. You got to sit in for a four hour sales pitch of something you know you're just gonna say no to. That's what this feels like. You have to you have to come in and and do this itinerary of uh, drink that that weird blue milk that uh, uh, Luke drank for breakfast, and then you got to do the fake Jedi train. No, let me just let me just chill here, walk around, see some things. I don't need to see the fake Jedi's and all that stuff. Leave the props inside the hotel room. We'll take them home. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then you're going to be on your way. Okay. Can I tell you something? Because I'm sitting here looking at how much it will cost to be to get a high roller suite in Vegas. I'm looking at the freaking Caesars. I'm looking at Caesars Palace. So this at Caesars Palace, I could stay in the Noble Deluxe. The Noble Deluxe room which is only $449 per night. Yeah, but what's your Eight. amenities? I don't care. It's, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah. Caesar's Palace. I mean, I'm looking at their top end room on, on apparently part of their website. That's their top end room. Uh, let's see. You get unpar- who cares? Luxury and craft, personalized service, amenities. Each room is infused with, I don't care about that part. You get a Japanese experience. Okay, that's cute. I don't care. How is your Japanese elegance when it's Italian linen? Not supposed to know this. <laughs> I have a Japanese lady fold the sheets. That's and then, then you'll, 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 you'll realize it. So, okay, it doesn't include the spa, but like, that's fine. I don't mind about that. But I'm just like, Caesar's Palace, Vegas, $4.49 per night. I'm sure there's probably a better room. I didn't think about that, like, but I just was like, let me think of like Caesars, like, what's one of the more higher end hotels in Vegas? But like Caesars, four forty nine a night. I'm sorry, Disney, what are you giving me? Because all that, all you're telling me is I get to sleep in a room and I get to eat, blue, drink blue juice. I don't care about blue milk. I don't want to drink blue milk. I don't. I don't want it. It it just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. Like, for what? For why? <laughs> what? Can we just bring back the Star Wars exhibit, like the Star Wars place in Vegas, like where you could sit on a captain's chair and do the experience? Because I'd rather do that than do this with, um, I'm sorry, I said Star Trek. Like instead of Star Wars, let's do Star Trek. I'd rather do that because this galaxy, the galactic Star Cruiser is ridiculous. I I need to know who, 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 that's what I wanted to do. The first person that buys a room they need to tell the um, they need to tell America who that person is. Tell America. And like literally, yes, America needs to know. I mean, not really, but you know, like we need to know who that first person is so they can describe their experience and ask them, was it worth it? Like, was it? I mean, I guess probably if they're the first people to stay in there, but like so many things I could do with my money other than that. I mean, clearly that's what I will do, but I'm just like, 
six grand, six grand for four people, four people. Oh, that, and that doesn't include the airfare to get there. Right. And then like who stayed in like which, who stays in Florida for just two days? So then you're like that's six grand for two di- for for two nights, right? If you're four, if there are four of you. Then you still have to buy another hotel room for the rest of the time you're in this you're in Florida. Like Yeah, that's that's I think they can it be four friends? I, mean, could they, be- I don't know. This one says three adults, one child. So I don't know if that's just a, a sample or if you, you have to find a child who's in Star Wars and say, hey, you got to come Grab a us. kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three and adults and one young one. Like, what do you <laughs> consider a child? Because a 16 year old is still a child in my book. I'm just saying. It, 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 I'm, yeah, it all depends. Because some places, no, uh, no uh, under 18 is considered uh, a child, but no, 18 and up is an adult. So you know, where do you go with that? Um, but I, I think they, they're, they're definitely losing out by pricing it that much. But I think there'll still be people up to pay that. There's always going to, yeah. especially with Star Wars, you're going to have people want to have that, want to uh, recreate that experience uh, or whatever, and they're going to want to live that. They'll they'll do it, especially when when everything starts to really be open and they bring the D23 uh, uh, down to Orlando. They have it oh. down there. People will pay. People will pay. People, oh, that's I, you know what? I didn't even think about D23. Yeah, okay, I know exactly who, who this was made for. This is made for people that'll go to D23 because yep. they will definitely. What's included two nights stay in a cabin or suite, ongoing immersive and interactive, interactive, interactive entertainment. I don't even understand what that means. Um, because unless I'm whatever, food and beverages in the hotel. Um, and oh no, you do get to. Well, wait, hold on. So they do give you admission to Disney Hollywood Studios you for your planet. Right. You get valet parking. Yay! Again, you need a way to get there. Yeah. And can't you, valet, get you can't valet bed. walking. <laughs> I, I can't imagine paying to go see that. You know, like you said, um, honey, people will pay for it. But mm-hmm. in terms of me, I, I can't imagine paying for it and then not regretting it later. Do I think I have a good time? Yeah, but $5,000 for two nights somewhere. Uh, that's what like we Honda. Yeah. Yo. But. <laughs> well, wait. Okay, so wait. Okay, I have a question then. If they had, if instead of Star Wars, they had created a Wakanda hotel theme and everything. I'd still like, be, the price is still talking to me. I'd, I'd, I'd want to go to see it more than I would the Star Wars, but the price itself is still telling me, hey, wait a second. I don't trust these really during my lives. I think she's white. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I believe that's a fake. That's a spray tan. No, man. I think not. I'm no. just going to, I need to see nothing but black people work in this, in this world of Wakanda. <laughs> I don't. I don't care what color your melanin is, sir. You might be Filipino, but you need. If you, you're supposed to be a Wakandan, you gotta be brown. You gotta little, have to add a little bit more brown to that. Right. It's like I, I, I need. Diff- I need different features. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This. This is not the the immersive experience I expected. I don't know how you got in here, uh, but this is supposed to be the world of Wakanda. This is. This is not right. That's not, I need to speak to your manager. I, <laughs> As, as, as Mbaku would say, I will not have it. <laughs> not have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I uh, agree. Like I like even even for even for a birthday treat for myself, I couldn't just I wouldn't just I couldn't justify spending as much money for two nights. Like, especially knowing that I'd have to then leave that place, find another hotel. Like, nah. Yeah. Like if I'm t- if we're like if especially the the um to, like 1200 like and because you would not go by yourself no like that yeah. and that's and i think that's the bigger issue like yo you have like you're not gonna do this excursion by your like this thing by yourself so you're go- it would have to be at least based on double occupancy so like uh, it's just wrong and again maybe because i'm cheap which i wholeheartedly agree that i am i am a very cheap person I don't like paying a lot of money for stuff, but like I, I'm gonna drop a flight on on Japan. I will for that. I could just fly to Japan, like, and be okay. <laughs> no, 
And that's the thing. You can there's a ton of other trips you can take where it'll be worth more. Um, they get more bang for your buck. This it's like I, I love Star Wars, but I, I again I would have that buyer's remorse right after. Yeah, yep. and this is this kind of reminds me of when we go to the Comic Con. There's usually um I think it's what slideshow collectibles. And they have these awesome busts and uh, statues and, and and all kind of replicas of like life size things of Thanos or Batman or, or Ghost Rider. Like, oh, those are great. You know, if I have a man cave, I have space in the house, I can do that. Or oh, I, I do have the space, but then look at the sticker price. Yeah. You know, three thousand three thousand dollars off, you know, ten to eight, eight, nine thousand dollars for this like the, the Thanos life size um you know arm of him with the the, with the um infinity gauntlet on. Yeah, it's nine thousand dollars. Can I really you know, sleep at night knowing that this thing right here yeah. cost, <laughs> cost, cost several car payments? Or no, no, it's like okay. Um, if you have it, if you have that Bezos money or that disposable income where you don't really have to think about it, sure. You know, if you, if you're pulling one of those um, uh, PPP loan scams, knock yourself out. <laughs> just, 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 remember the, just remember the feds are gonna be waiting for you when you check out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like. I'm, nah, like, uh uh-uh, uh, no, I, I just can't. Like, and speaking of like the stuff that you buy, like, I, every year I look when we go to Comic Con, like New York Comic Con, there's always like the people that do like this really pretty etched glass stuff, and they have this gorgeous, like, glass TARDIS. And every year I'm like, I'm gonna buy it, and then I'm just like, yo, but not for that price. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I love it, and I was like, it's beautiful. I would totally love to get that, but I'm like, yo, I'm looking at my pockets, and I'm like, uh, no, although I did just drop money on Tilt Sword, so you know, maybe I should rethink my priorities. But <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> but those are, the swords are multi use, though. They are, they are. I can beat people up with them, and I think that's beautiful. That's all that matters. Like, I break my if I if I break if I break my TARDIS, I'm gonna be really mad because it's not like, like, if I break my sword, I'm gonna be upset, but I'm not gonna be as mad as if I, if I like bought the TARDIS thing and I broke it. Like, Wow, that's really bad thought. I shouldn't think that. But like, I just, I just need to know who is actually buying the trip. Because from online, like from when I was looking at it, drop the prices drop on. I didn't really see anybody talking about they would actually do it. Like it was so many people saying no. Like it's way too overpriced. Like I don't think I've even saw anybody hinting at like yo they would buy. Like maybe everybody's just lying because they. You know, you don't want to run your pockets online because, you know, people. But, like, no one really said, oh, my gosh, I can't wait to do this. No one. Maybe we're all just too poor. (laughs) And that's what it is. We don't understand. We're we're financially conscious. That's how I like to label myself. Well, I'm not poor. I'm financially conscious. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Or or, or, as a who would say, I'm financially woke. (laughs) <laughs> yes okay i'm financially woke and this and this and this, and this disney world galactic star cruiser is not it's not gonna be for me it's, exactly. not, it's, a, it's a no for me but if i no won it well, but if you if like if there was a competition where you could win it would you enter yeah free is free I'll, yeah <laughs> uh, once they said okay you enter the contest for free but you so well we'll pay for your airfare there or something that's no well you know what i'll, I'll issue a challenge to disney they should prove to us that we're wrong by offering us an all expense paid trip. And then exactly. we can let people know whether or not it's worth it. Change our okay. minds. <laughs> that Change works. our I'll minds. Even, right. I, and here's what's funny. I'll even pay, I, I would even pay for my flight down there. The flight's going to be the cheapest free. thing here, sure. I'll yeah. Put my flight in car there. <laughs> you know, I could fly from White Plains Airport. I'm good. <laughs> you get on JetBlue right quick. <laughs> I think that works. Yeah, like you know what? If they were, if they, were, I think that's what happened. Disney should offer, as as, as the wonderful Hokage uh, Kareem just stated, that's that's what should happen. Like, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll give honest reviews. I will live stream the entire thing. Oh yep. God, that'd be weird. But yeah, I, I'm live streaming too. <laughs> here, I, here, my, here I am walking around. This is the best experience ever. Thank you, Disney, <laughs> for showing me I was wrong in my ways. Now I like us. Kylo Ren. The <laughs> Kylo Ren Come section on. was great. Come on, he let's was a, okay. He was the Come best on. Star Wars character ever. Come on, we, we're not going that far. We, we can lie. We, we can lie, but let's not lie. Like, no. 
that's where we draw the line we're not lying to say kylo ren's a great character no 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 we, no that no just rise no. of skywalker was the best star wars film ever <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's like, okay, I, I wear a t-shirt saying they did spin dirty. Because <laughs> <what I>, <laughs> they did. <laughs> what we want is greater than Picard. That's the one of those kind of t-shirts or something. No, but if you know if people can afford it, you know, have fun. Uh, I'll just right. be here watching, you know, people's pictures and stories about mm-hmm. it. And I'll just yeah. be vicariously through them. Yeah. Call us when you got the world of Wakanda. That's all. Just let us know. Yes. And, yeah. and, and again, we got to, we'll be glad to volunteer our services, be part of the casting uh, selection process to make sure the appropriate individuals are hired to right. represent <laughs> Wakanda. Thank you. Because if I'm you know, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, but I swear, now I do want a Wakanda hotel. Like, Okay, okay, you're okay. gonna get to Wakanda Hotel is whatever they got on 125th Street right now. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> oh, so nothing. Thanks. Great. Great. Yeah. The holiday Great. in somewhere off 125th Street. That's that's your world of Wakanda right there. Uh, true. But no, I like okay. I want a Wakanda world in like I want Wakanda to have its own world inside of Disney. Um, because I think that would be amazing. I don't want them to do them dirty, like how Epcot has the worlds, uh, like you can visit the worlds in Epcot, and they have like a like a tour where you can like eat your way around the world. The food for Africa sucks. What is the and food it's for really Africa? not like it was. I don't want to say a meatball, but it's like it was almost like it was just like one giant meatball. I don't know what it was supposed to be. I don't know, but it was like Africa, and I'm like, where are we? North, south. Like where? Nope, just Africa, just Africa. That's it. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, how is that like, possible? I, I know, like, we don't have just Europe. I'm like, yo, I literally got to go to like the different countries in Europe. I but like, they Africa, think it's all a con- one big country, not a yeah. They probably continent. think <laughs> it is. That's straight up what it was. It was like just one country. Disney, like it was just, it was just Africa. It wasn't fried chicken on the menu, was it? Yeah, no. I'm, I'm was... just asking. Is this Disney World put Popeyes in there? <laughs> Spicy chicken sandwiches. That's all they had. <laughs> <laughs> um, where what? Like, hold on, let me find yeah, out. We what knew the food we is. knew Walt Disney was racist, but damn. <laughs> like, come it, on, it man. still is. It, it, it still is. Um. Oh wait, hey, okay, yay! Now they have Simba ice cream. They have Simba ice cream now. We're, we're country in Africa. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> I missed that one. It's, it's Africa. Africa. That's it. It's, it's, it's Africa. Like, that's literally it. Like, because they don't have ice cream in Africa. Hey, hey, they have Simba Africa ice cream. That's, yeah. I need Disney to do better. I yes. need Disney to do better. Like Universal got a great Harry Potter world. Disney, y'all could y- y'all have been doing this for decades, longer than Universal. Y'all could have more than just generic Africa. Disney. They gave you, well, didn't they have a um, uh, Lion King area with a big tree of life and stuff? Are they going to so rebrand that as Wakanda? Actually, I think that's what they were trying to do. Of course they did. did. <laughs> of course they would. You know. Wakanda. Oh my gosh. Yep. Wakanda in Disney. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if that's going to be a bo- oh, Wakanda Disney World. But, and nothing but light skinned people inside the uh, Dharma Live. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's like colorism, right? They, they got the, the barges with spears. That's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Wakanda is coming to Animal Kingdom. What a. Th- <laughs> They're just rebranding it. They're like, oh shit, we can't get rid of this. Um, uh, let's let's throw let's, let's let's make it Wakanda. We'll get rid of Pride Rock and uh, put a panther head there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll love it. That's what they're doing. That's literally what they're doing. We'll, we'll hire Jamal from the cafeteria. He likes to pop a lot. We'll make him T'Challa. Go ahead. <laughs> 
Oh my god! I gotta raise my. A few, more, a few more overtime shifts, and we'll be able to uh, vacation for uh, next weekend at at the, at this uh, Galactic Star Cruiser. Oh, oh my god! Yo, I can't. I'm done. Uh, I'm done. We're gonna we're gonna it's... end the episode with that. We're just gonna end the episode with that. We are. That's horrible. <laughs> but no, that's what they're doing. They're turning Di- um Animal Kingdom uh, into on the at least it doesn't take a rocket scientist. California. To that Shit, that just sounds racist. It's just. <laughs> This is something about that just sounds racist. <laughs> Animal Kingdom, you know, yeah. just yeah, that's what that's what they're, and it's gonna just be in California, not in not in um, Orlando. They, they got enough going on in Orlando right now. Thanks for listening. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook under the name Three Hokages, and on Twitter and Twitch while the guys game, which is Three Hokages podcast. For more episodes and blogs, check us out on www.3hokages.com and that is three the number h-o-k-e-g-s dot com and I feel like Vanna White those numbers have turned thanks again for listening to us have a great time no itch you wanna kick it cause it's pre old day when I spray pull up three Hokage we on sight think a night maybe move all ways it's hard to see three ninjas when they move on stage now we're tuned of the sound of the new old age both words more clever the stakes is higher the stakes is higher based on the day it's wire the culture ain't a case of day to day a tiger nah respect the frame the man's is fire pay comments we can speak about us pay comments we can speak about us pay comments we can speak about us yeah.